Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm and we've been busy around the farm this weekend. I didn't film that much, but the tree field, which is behind me, over there is all cut. We started to put some mulch down around their trees. All of those trees I sprayed around uh, about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, and uh, there's only a couple areas that need a little bit more pesticide to keep the weeds down but for the most part all the the weeds are looking in good shape and the trees that need it we're putting some mulch down but today's video is all about uh, planting sunflowers this is the area that we had planted pumpkins and sunflowers in last year I forget the exact measurements we've got here I think it's about 50 feet by 100 feet and uh, the pumpkins that we did last year didn't really do much of anything at all one we didn't soil test for pumpkins we didn't put down enough fertilizer for pumpkins then we had drought and the few little pumpkins that we had come up got eaten by bugs so uh, no real luck with pumpkins I don't have too much interest in doing much more with pumpkins anyway so we're just gonna uh, do a lot more with flowers and right now we're starting with sunflowers it's the beginning of May so we're hoping in July these sunflowers will be ready and hopefully by then we'll be able to open up and maybe do some small events here at the farm or invite people out to come and and check out the farm and and pick some sunflowers while they're here so we'll probably also stagger sunflowers we'll probably do some more next week and the week after that so that we can have a harvest of sunflowers over a longer season so what I've got here I ordered these online I forget the supplier but I'll put it in the description for the video but I've got a big old package a one pound package of sunflowers here um, and then I also have a smaller, uh, I don't know the weight, 1,000 seeds of crazy mix. It's all different kinds of sunflowers, if you can see that on there. So we're going to put a little bit of this down today, mostly these. These are the mammoths, so hopefully they get nice and big. And then after they sprout, we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll put some fertilizer down. And hopefully everything does all right. So like I said, last year we already had some success with sunflowers on a really small scale. Last year we planted sunflowers by hand, individually. We were going hole by hole and putting a sunflower in each hole. And that was a lot of work. I picked up one of these planter seeders um, secondhand off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, I forget which. But it was only 50 bucks and it came with a bunch of extra wheels for different types of seeds. Uh, there is no sunflower seed, but we just finished experimenting and the corn plate works out just fine. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so the way this works, you just dump your seed inside here. You can see I just put a little tiny bit of seed in there right now. Look right there. There's just a little bit of seed in there right now. This is the corn plate, this white thing, and it basically works by scooping up seeds. When it scoops up the seed, it drops down this little chute that's right alongside of this, and then puts it right down in between this little trough, and this trough digs through the ground, and it is also height adjustable. Let me see if we can get that camera in close, Hudson, right here. So right here, there are little lines for how deep you want it for your depth gauge. So you can just adjust this wing nut, slide this piece down, and you can set your depth. So we're gonna set that at three quarters of an inch. And the way this works, when the belt turns, you can already see there's two seeds that came out right down here. So as you go along with the planter, it drops seeds in the trough. And every once in a while we found it didn't put a seed underground. So we have to go back and push the seed in manually. But that's okay, it sure beats putting them in the ground one by one. So all we gotta do is just push this into the ground. That trough, that little, uh, this thing down here is gonna dig into the ground and it's gonna drop seeds and away we go. Footprint. Go right back on the same little tilled row.
funny right there. thing really made our life easier we got 12 rows here done 12 and I actually measured it out there's 60 foot rows not 50 uh, 12 60 foot rows done in less than 10 minutes now the soil prep and tilling and everything took, added to that time but you actually get the seeds in the ground last year doing it manually we were doing rows half as long as this and we spent hours putting seeds in the ground so huge efficiency booster here for us and we're really happy to to have this and put it to use happy that it actually works i wasn't sure if the different size plates that we have and i wasn't sure if the corn plate was going to work and it did work it worked great so hopefully within uh, a week to 10 days we'll start seeing little sprouts shoot up out of the ground here and uh, as we make progress here with the sunflowers we'll report back here on the channel how we're doing and of course once they're mature and they're nice and pretty we'll show you that too so uh thanks for following along today if you got any questions about the cedar if you got any questions about what we're doing out here on our 43 acre farm here in central virginia just leave those in the comments below i'd be happy to answer any questions that you have if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and give us a like and if you haven't already and you want to follow our progress here on our farm hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it that will notify you of our future videos so that's all for today thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one Bye-bye.